Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Now y'all looking at this title and y'all probably looking at me crazy, but I promise y'all, bro, this shit is all reasonable. Yes. Global haters like me, along with the instigators, the niggas who stand like young boy, niggas who wake up in the morning and fight at 7 a.m., women who fucking eat hot chips at 7 a.m. at school, people with Olaf as their fucking profile pic on Disney+, Plus. me bald white man with a degree in business, TikTok accounts with no profile pic, women who do their makeup before going to sleep, anybody male or female that just got done playing Elden Ring before they watch this video, scammers, people that go on job application sprees on Indeed and then go to none of the interviews, people that never finished season 3 of Avatar, people with chewed up laces on a black Air Force Ones, and literally anybody who hates Odell Beckham Jr. The list of people I named off may sound like a lot, but I promise you these are the worst people on the planet. That shit probably got you wondering like, damn bro, what the fuck got you so motivated to hate on people? And to be honest, I don't know. I just been doing this shit. Seen some scammer nigga posting all his bread. That nigga was like, God is good. I was like, all ones. Them hoes was not ones. But I just couldn't. I had to convince myself otherwise. Because I couldn't convince myself that bro was more successful than me. But see, me nigga. Me nigga. I come direct with that shit. I'm going to hate on you with my profile pic. And you can go look at my shit. Because guess what? I don't give a fuck. And if you disagree with me right now. You need to start reevaluating your life. Because the real ones, they know what's up, bro. De like, bro, if you really relate to me, bro, that's because we twins, bro. Like, we locked in, bro. You feel me? Only the real gonna understand this message. So not everybody gonna understand. But I'm just saying, if you don't, seek help. You feel me? Because then, then you can get right and we can be on the same wavelength. You feel me? Y'all probably thinking the world gonna be better off without niggas like me. But it's not. There ain't shit you can do to change your situation. Because without hate, there is no love. You need a nigga like me to remind you. You need niggas that instigate to remind you it get rough out here. You need niggas like me to remind you it get rough out here. This shit is tough. This not no regular walk in the park. Every time I step foot on the scene, my main goal is to instigate. I gotta be a hater. Nigga, this shit tough. It's my job, bro. I couldn't let that nigga go. I couldn't, I couldn't live like that, bro. And real niggas know what's up. That's why I keep saying if you don't relate, seek help, nigga. Because real niggas know. Sometimes, bro, you just gotta be a hater. I couldn't let no nigga with no badass bitch just walk around and I just can't hate on the nigga. It's just like... Damn, that he did what he had to do, so that's just him. But it's like, at the same time, I can't be proud of that. That shit weak. I can't hate on a nigga, but then again, I can, because I'm fueled with this shit. I have to hate on him. I'm putting in work for generations of niggas. Generations of hating ass niggas. Like Tobias from the Boondocks. Squidward, Uncle Ruckus, Charleston White, Kevin Owens, Benson from Regular Show. Mr. Krabs, and literally everyone in America when the Cowboys breathe. Do y'all not understand? I'm leaving behind a legacy. This shit is a must. Who gonna do it? Soluminati? Fuck him, it's my turn. No, don't touch me. Get the fuck off me. It's me. Get the fuck, move. Everything I do is for the greater good. Like I'm fucking Thanos, nigga. Y'all heard me. Yeah, I'm hating on the Avengers too. Fuck them niggas. They should have let Thanos win. You know why? Because Thanos got it. He knew being a hating ass nigga was more important than anything else. And that's the way my twins think. That's why we locked in, bro. Every friend group need a nigga like me. Oh, you just graduated? I don't give a fuck. I don't care, nigga. Fuck your diploma. Fuck that piece of paper. Oh, you just made the football team? I don't fucking care what position you play. You probably ass. You know why I choose to be the hating ass nigga in the group? Because if you don't, you turn into the nice ass nigga. And you the nigga that's taking away for the team when y'all go on two mans and, and, and three mans and all that shit. I refuse to get stuck with a fucking honey bun or in a, be in a room full of grenades because your ass want to wild the fuck out. I refuse. I will hate on every bitch in there and I will spoil your chances to get some ass. Fuck you. Fuck the two man. Fuck the three man. 
Fuck all this shit. I'm going home. You knew what it was when you set me up with this bitch. I'm leaving. Can't take it no more. The need to hate on niggas is more important than the need to breathe. Y'all not hearing me enough. I said the need to hate on niggas is more important than the need to breathe. Y'all probably tired of me, but you know what? The real ones know what it is. I'm more fucking negative than a college professor. Bitch, I'm gonna let you know straight up. I don't like your chances. And if you did have your chances, I'm gonna hate on you during them. I gotta hate on everything. Even self-improvement, nigga. Niggas talking about to heal, you gotta cry. Real niggas ball that shit up until it come back in the form of blind rage that make you fucking scratch your eyes out. Grow the fuck up and grow some nuts, nigga. Ain't no fucking moral of the story. Ain't no positive message at the end of the fucking video. You know why? Nigga, do you know why? Cuz this ain't your house. Now, last video, I told you don't make me repeat myself.